Hey stoners, welcome to this special edition of Sticks and Stones. I am your host, Brent Elrod, coming to you from inside the No Shoes Bar and Grill here deep in the heart of the Republic of Texas. Cheers. Today, I have a special episode. This is part one of a two-part series. Today, I'm going to be counting down my top five cigars from the last season. Uh, this is kind of my season finale. I'm going to have uh, part one today, and part two will be the top five spirits from season number one. So I'm excited to bring these to you. I know you're excited to see it, so let's dive right in. Now, number five on the list, I definitely thought that one of the cigars from this brand I tried deserved to be on this list, and this is the one I chose. It's a little out of left field for some of the old time mainstream stick burners, but I really felt like that I needed to have at least one of this brand in this lineup and I chose this particular stick, and that is the Big Sky Cigar Company Bitter Root. Now this is a Nicaraguan made. Uh, it's got Nicaraguan filler and binder. It has a beautiful, beautiful Habano wrapper. Um, the nose was leather, cedar, there were some floral notes in it. Uh, then the cold draw gave me cedar and honeysuckle, which I don't think any other stick I've ever had other than the bitter root gave me the flavor of honeysuckle. It was a welcome treat. Now on the burn, it was, it was a lot of really smooth creaminess, spice, cigar, uh, cedar, um, coffee and uh, caramel. It was really a great stick, really an enjoyable cigar. Uh, this is a six by 54, so it's a very enjoyable, long lasting smoke. And you definitely, definitely need to try Big Sky if you haven't already, because they're going places, I can tell you. Now moving on, number four is much more well known. I had not, until this last year, sampled any of this particular brand. And of the three or four that I sampled, this one was by far uh, my most enjoyable. And that is the Placencia Alma Del Campo in a five and a half by 54. Uh, this cigar is a Nicaraguan Puro, filler, binder, wrapper, all from Nicaragua. Uh, the nose gave me cocoa, earth, leather, and a nice burst of dark fruit. Um, on the cold draw, I got more cocoa, uh, cedar, and a nice little undertone of coffee. Uh, and, and then on the burn, the coffee ramped up to an espresso. And then you also had some a kind of a peculiar uh, conglomeration of bread and peanut butter and a little bit of black pepper. There was, there was sweet, there was spicy, there was creamy. Uh, there was that, that nice doughy, peanut buttery kind of mix. And I really, really enjoyed this cigar and definitely after trying uh, a wide range uh, in Placencia, they, they make some very, very good cigars and well worthy of number four on this list. Now, Moving on to number three. Number three is probably one of the best known brands in the world. And that is Padron. What, what list can you have that doesn't at least have Padron somewhere in the mix, right? Now this is the 1926. It is a five and a quarter by 52 on the ring gauge. It is another Nicaraguan Puro with a filler binder wrapper, all from Nicaragua, and it's aged for five years. This is a very, very enjoyable cigar, and I actually paired this one twice in the first season. 
Not many cigars got paired twice. As a matter of fact, I think there was only one or two others. One of them is coming up. But this is a very enjoyable smoke. Uh, on the nose, you got uh, cocoa, you got some sweet leather. On the cold draw, you had more cocoa, leather, pepper. Uh, the burn was, was really consistent with the nose and the cold draw. You got a, a good cedar notes, cocoa notes, a little spice in there. Just a wonderful, wonderful cigar. I believe the first time I paired this with the Glen Levitt 14 year old. And I was blown away by these two paired together. Definitely a great cigar, definitely worthy of number three on the list. Now, we're getting close. Number two, all of you that have watched my, my pairings and have listened to me talk about cigars, you know that I have an affinity for a particular kind of cigar. I have an affinity for coffee-infused cigars. So there was no way, no way I could have a top five and not include this somewhere. So I put it at number two because number one was number one. There was no doubt. Number two, you Puritans, don't stone me. I love these cigars. This is the Java Red by Drew Estate. It's a coffee infused cigar. It's got a wonderful, wonderful aroma to it. It is a Nicaraguan Puro. Are you kind of seeing a, a pattern here? Uh, on the nose, you got coffee and cocoa and some cherries. And on the cold draw, it was, it was like eating uh, the Ghirardelli's like chocolate covered cherries. Just a real like burst of wonderful sweetness and chocolate on the cold draw. And then on the burn, you had more uh, chocolate covered cherries, a little sweet fruit, some floral notes in there. Drew Estate knows how to put together these infused cigars and, and I really enjoy them. Just when I'm sitting on the back porch, chilling, uh, having a drink and a little smoke, uh, coffee infused cigars are typically my go-to. Uh, I, I have a humidor full of Padron and Placencia and Rocky Patel and Camacho and Punch. But when I just want to grab a cigar and go sit on the back porch and chill out a while, something like this is what I go to. So we're there. The number one cigar for the Sticks and Stone Show season one is, oh, wait a minute. Sorry, got to take a break. Union rules. By the way, little uh, Weller Special Reserve or Weller Green Label uh, in the glass. If you haven't tried it, you need to, if you can get your hands on it. It's some really great stuff. All right, now we're ready. Drum roll. The number one cigar for season one of Sticks and Stones is the Rocky Patel 60. Robusto, five and a half by 50. I know uh, this is another one, uh, just like the Padron. I reviewed this one twice, both times, excellent. I've smoked it about five or six times this year. It is a wonderful, wonderful cigar. If you haven't tried it, you need to. It's well worth it. Uh, it is a Nicaraguan filler and binder, cloaked, in a Mexican San Andres wrapper. Uh, the, the nose, I got cedar, I got leather, I had some spice and some coffee. The, the cold draw was, there was like some milk chocolate uh, in the cold draw. Um, the, the, the coffee on the nose was more of an espresso uh, in the cold draw. There was some malt, there was a little bit of pepper, 
So you had sweet and spicy and you had the, the coffee and espresso running through there. And it was just a really wonderful uh, lead up to an even more excellent burn. When we burned the stick, you got espresso, you got caramel, you got leather, and you got some vanilla. It was an all around complete treat. This was definitely my best pairing cigar this year. Uh, there's, there's not another one like it right now. Now, whether Rocky or somebody else is going to be able to come out with another one of those, I don't know. But that is an absolutely delicious cigar. And if you haven't tried it, you need to. Well, there you have it. There you have the top five cigars as reviewed by me on Sticks and Stones. Definitely need to try these five if you haven't. Try and get a hold of some uh, Big Sky. Uh, they're, they're really starting to make inroads around the country. Uh, you definitely need to try their stuff. Placencia, you can find them anywhere. Every cigar shop should have Placencia. Cigars International's got it, you can order it. Uh, Cigars.com, Thompson Cigars, you know, they, they all have it. Of course, Padron, yes. Java, again, Rocky, you can get them anywhere. Definitely need to try these five cigars. I hope you enjoyed uh, this kind of year in review here, uh, giving the, the top five. I thought about smoking all five again, but I'm not man enough to do that in one day. And I didn't want to drag taping out over a week. That just seemed like way too much work. So, I enjoy doing this. I don't want it to be a job. <laughs> so, I'm going to do similar with the spirits. Now, Mrs. Sticks and Stones would not let me light these up in the house. But, I can partake of a little nectar of the gods. So, I'm going to line up the top five spirits that I've reviewed this year. And just to ensure that I'm getting it right, I'm gonna sample all five. And this one might be on the list. So be sure to be looking for part two of my season one in review. I'm going to enjoy bringing it to me to you. I have enjoyed bringing this one to you. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, share, notify, ring all the bells and whistles so that you can keep up with what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. Uh, be sure to go by the Sticks and Stones store, pick you up a embroidered Sticks and Stones polo or a Sticks and Stones t-shirt, mouse pad, travel mug, all kinds of stuff. You can even get pipes and pipe accessories for the pipe smoker you can get travel humidors, cutters, lighters. Uh, I've got a lot of my friends over at Cigarism Accessories. I've got links to their Amazon store in my store. And if you click the link, it takes you to the Amazon store and uh, gives me credit for making a sale for Cigarism. So definitely go and, and check out some of their stuff. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're just on Amazon and, and looking around for stuff, Cigarism underscore accessories. Uh, my Sticks and Stones store, that's a lot to get out, is sticks-in-stones, S-T-O-N-E-Z, the number one, dot myshopify.com, or right here, if you're watching the video. I have uh, very much enjoyed getting to spend a little time with you today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Be sure to uh, keep, uh, keep watching, keep hitting that like button. Uh, send me comments, send me uh, things that you'd like to see me pair together, whether it's sticks or, or uh, spirit or both, and uh, I will definitely, definitely work it into my schedule. Until we get to be together again, keep your sticks dry, your stones cold. Have a great day.